Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is your next 24 hours reading for you, Virgo. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. Okay. This reading for today, it is for the Virgo sign. Let us see what's happening towards you. What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know? This is your next 24 hours reading. Let us see what's coming towards to uh, what's coming towards you, Virgo. Thank you so much, Virgo, for coming back. Thank you so much for being here. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the bell, click the bell now and click subscribe. All right. And if you would like to further connect with me, Virgo, I invite you to also be part of our mailing list. We send out new moon, full moon, and uh, bonus readings. So if you want to get that directly uh, in your inbox, I would love for you guys to join me. Or be part of our community the link to join it's down the description box below okay so this in in this today in today's reading this will fall into week and going for next week or this is like the next 24 hours reading and um we will be looking at the recent past your situation we'll be looking at the current energies you know the past the present and immediate future and predictive outcome and advice and depending on the message for today i will let you know if there's a need to extend the reading if you like the you know if you like the format please do give me a thumbs up you know so that i could keep doing the you know the next 24 hours reading the live and next 24 hours reading so let's see what's coming towards you okay so you have the nine of cups the eight of cups and the nine of wands I feel like there was a situation that um, you want you want this to happen again. You know, nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment, complacency, something that you're comfortable doing, or a favorite person for some of you. Um, nine of cups, eight of cups, nine of wands. Um, I feel like this person or this situation that you want to take place again, or you want to try. You want to come back. You want to revisit. There's about there's something in here that you would like to come back. You would like to revisit. It was your wish for things to come back, to be reinstated, and I think it did. You know, there's some sort of coming back, coming home, doing the same thing, doing it again. Something tells me that you wish for this to happen. Nine of Cups, Eight of Cups, and now it's here. And then, when it came back, and you're working. Or connecting you realize that it was tiring like it was not the same feeling or interest you have i really feel like in the past when you were doing this you were you felt differently it's more enjoyable right now i really feel like it came back and it's not as fun as it is you know something tells me yeah this is my wish my wish is for things to go back to be reinstated, to have it again, to do it again, to experience it again. And when you did experience or connected or have it again, you know, like, like there's a vibe of being again, together again. It didn't give you the same experience. You know, it was not, I'd say, it was satisfying, but not. it's it's not what you expected. It's It has changed, you yeah. know. So... Let's look at the let's look at the energy of the person or the situation connected to this energy. Okay, let's look at the person or the situations, the connected energy to, towards this. They've got the one ones. Okay, get the world card and the seven of swords. I feel like. This person or situation connected to your recent past or this energy, it feels like, yeah, it's the same person, different feelings. Or it's the same thing, job, maybe food. But it feels differently. Like you probably have, you probably have outgrown it, Virgo, because... What I'm getting from the person is that, you know, in the past, how it was, how it, you got a nine of wands. So it means that the connection, the connection, the situation was more fun in the past. It was more intense. It was more fun, rewarding. It was 
lots of hard work, but there's also a lot of rewards. So if it was difficult, there was also rewards. So there is an equal balance of, yeah, it was great. Um, and it's hard work, but it's it also pays off, you know. So, but now when you tried it again, or when it returns, or when it, it's about to return, you know, you realize like you have outgrown it, or it's the same food, the same person, the same scenario, but it just gives you a different feeling. I feel like it's because the person, they become predictable, or it becomes boring to you. You know, it's a feeling, Virgo, where... Um, when you don't have it, you want it and you're just craving to have it. And when it's in front of you, you're like, oh, okay. Mm, is this really what I want? So it's, it's that vibe. So, I mean, you've got a seven of swords, the person, the situation connected to your energy. You've got the seven of swords, the wheel of fortune. I feel like you, in the past, you were super duper intense and connected. I would say both of you have outgrown each other because I feel like this person or situation or project or opportunity opportunity, they they they're you know they they have a different palette. They've changed their preference. So, you know, maybe this was it's 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 a reading Virgo where you used to love doing this together movie. And then for some reason, when you were disconnected or when things were falling apart between the two of you, or maybe when there was a challenge, you stopped doing it. And then when you do it again, you don't like it anymore. Like your palate or it's something with, like it's still tasteful, but you crave a different thing. And I feel like it's the same with the person. Like, okay, I thought I wanted this way, but it's not the way I wanted in the past. They're looking, this person or the situation that you want desperately or passionately in the past, it doesn't feel like that same intensity. Yeah. In the current energy, you've got, yeah, you've got here the star card, the five of wands, the king of swords. I feel like this is a reading where all of the passion, it has washed wash away. <laughs> It's more of probably this like a honeymoon stage and then, okay, now it's, I honestly feel like Virgo because of the lapse or because there was a break of not doing it or not seeing each other or not connecting. And then when you connect, it's, it totally feels different. Like there's less emotion, there's less passion and it's all about King of Swords, cold. Yeah. There's coldness in the reading, frosty spiky it's not as passionate it's it doesn't feel like you you there's still an element of i want to belong together but it doesn't it, it feels different now that's the vibe so let's look at the current energy of the person or the situation connected to you right now you feel cold like you're kind of thinking will i stay here it doesn't feel the same yeah knight of cups it's possible, Virgo, that you're connecting, you're working, you're with them. Something tells me that there is an in and out, but it's not 100%. It could be fake for some of you. you you're kind of wondering and you're kind of looking into, you don't do that before or why they're not interactive. I mean, they're co connecting with me, but they're not the way they are. You're a bit suspicious because the person's connected to your energy being like, this is not what I expected. Knight of Cups in reverse, the Four of Wands. It is as if this person is they've they've come, you know, they've they've been used to not having you around or not doing this, but they're still interested. And when you guys connect, it it feels differently. Because they're okay without doing this and that or something that's connected to you. They're okay that they won't do it with you. Or this or that, they're okay not connecting with you. But if you're there, great. But if you're not there, they're also okay. I'm, I'm picking a very platonic, a very platonic. Like this, this situation needs really like an icebreaker. This needs something to really jump start it into the way it was before. It's possible also, Virgo, that you're connecting with someone who 
I'd say they could not give a hundred percent attention because they're so busy. Because you've got two of ones, four of ones, and you're like, this is planning. You know, like they they can only give you sixty percent, and and you're giving a hundred percent. So it it's not equal. There is a factor of, yeah. The, I mean, there's a lot of wanting to try, but it's not actually trying if it's not a hundred percent. Yeah. You and this person might, because you've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse in the future. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse and you've got the Chariot card. And what you don't see coming or hidden energy is the Ace of Pentacles. If it's more of you, we're trying, but it's not working. So it's better we just fly off or, you know, disappear. Because fled, you know, like I'm hearing the word with a cancer. It's it's better to, to, to flu or to fled. Or abandon. And then let's regroup. So it could be wrong timing. Yeah. Thank you, spirit. Because the person wants, you wants, But it's not in the same vibrational. Not really exciting. You know, maybe busy person. I really feel like it was a wrong timing. Not a wrong idea. But it's more of not the right time. You know. There's a lot of uh, maybe something came up that it isn't as intense or interesting like you know, there are times in life where you want this person and then you catch up and in your catch up it doesn't feel like you know it doesn't feel like it's the catch up that you want you know probably because the person could not give you a hundred percent of their attention because probably they have a problem so it's like that it's your favorite person it's your favorite project it's it's something that you want when you face it off they're not a hundred percent but there's still the same thing that you want in the past. There's a lot of factor that could affect this. But looking into the, you know, the immediate future, it's more of, it's just a little bit off the timing. But I still see you guys regrouping. So hopefully when you regroup or when you connect, um, it would give you the Ace of Pentacles. There's so much potential for improvement. So be open to improvement. It's just a bit off the way you start or the way you're connecting in the beginning. So give it give it a moment. Maybe it needs a warm-up, you know. So thank you, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel. I will see you soon, guys. You have a great day. Bye-bye.